Hello, my name is Tom and I'm here with another English class for you. Today we're going to talk about the future using going to. But uh, before we have a look at this grammar into more detail, let's have a look at some activities uh, that people usually do. So, for example, if you look at this one, what's the sport? Do you know? Yes, of course. Play tennis. Play tennis. Yeah. Do you play tennis? Yeah? Yes, you do? Wonderful. So, play tennis. Okay. How about this one? Uh, so, we can go fishing. Yeah, you can fish and we go fishing, go fishing, go fishing, very good, all right, what about this one, this is something you do after school, yeah, so after school you get home, open the books, and you do homework, do homework, do homework, right, we do homework after school. Okay, uh, maybe this time something more fun. How about this one? Mm -hmm. So we go skateboarding. Go skateboarding. Go skateboarding. Go skateboarding. Okay, good, lovely. So. So far, we've got play tennis, right, we've got play tennis, uh, we've got go fishing, go fishing, uh, we have do homework, do homework, uh, we also have this one, we go. You go skateboarding, go skateboarding, okay. And uh, maybe let's do one more. Uh, yeah, everybody loves this. What's this one? We ride a bike. Ride a bike. You ride a bike. Ride a bike. Very good. Well done. Okay, so these are the activities that we're going to work with. Now, Talking about the future, talking about something that is going to happen, let's say tomorrow. Something that's going to happen, um, I don't know, usually next Friday, next weekend, next week, next month, and so on. Yeah, so everything that comes that way to the future from now. Uh, we can use this grammar for. So, for example, if I'm talking about for myself, let's say, um, first of all, the question, what do we ask? I want to know what, right? So, what, and now, we have a look at the structure. So, the structure is very important. Because we, we got the verb to be, then going to, with the infinitive of a verb. So, in a question, it would work this way. So, for example, what are you? So, here you can see what the verb to be are because we talked about you. So, what are you going to? Right, it's this one. And now we need a verb. We're talking about these activities, so just the verb do. So, what are you going to? Do and now the time tomorrow on Friday next weekend. You choose. Yeah. So what are you going to do tomorrow? Again, are going to. We never change this. We always say it. And here we got the infinitive of the verb. Yeah. 
So what are you going to do tomorrow? So let me ask you, what are you going to do tomorrow? And you say, I, I am going to, that's okay, I am, because it's I, going to, again, never do anything with this, it stays the same. And now the verb. So for example, what are you going to do tomorrow? And it says, what are you going to do? Example. Yeah, so you say, I'm going to play tennis. Yeah, I'm going to play tennis. And again, I was asking about tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to play tennis tomorrow. Good. All right, should we try another one? How about this? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? Mm -hmm. And you say, I'm going to go fishing. Go fishing. Yeah, so go fishing, this is the actual verb. Go, so infinitive. I'm going to go fishing. And again, can be tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to go fishing tomorrow. Okay, now let's ask about your friend. So, for example, what is she going to do tomorrow? What is she going to? Okay, I need to get some space here. So, what is she going to do? It's not do. Do tomorrow. What is she going to do tomorrow? Okay, let's have a look. What is she going to do tomorrow? Okay, right. So, she is, and again, got the verb to be. So that happens here as well. She is going to. She is going to go skateboarding. Go skateboarding. Yeah. So the verb to be is going to, going to, and the infinitive. So she is going to go skateboarding again. Ask about tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a very busy day. Yeah, she's going to go skateboarding. Lovely. Okay, let me ask you a few more questions. All right. So, what is he? What is your friend? He? What is he going to do next Tuesday? What is he going to do next Tuesday? Mm -hmm. And you say, he is going to, mm -hmm. he's going to ride a bike. He is going to ride a bike. He's going to ride a bike. Very good. All right, let me ask you one more. Uh, what are you? What are you going to do on Saturday? What are you going to do on Saturday? What are you going to do on Saturday? They say, mm -hmm. so I am, I'm going to do homework. I am going to do homework. Or you can say, write homework. Yeah? I'm going to do homework. I'm going to write homework. Good, lovely. Uh, important to say that because you, of course, know that this grammar, or there is more grammar that we can use, uh, grammar tenses that we use when we talk about the future. This is one of them. And we use this one uh, when we know, when we have a plan, 
when we know this is going to happen. Yeah, so what can you be fairly sure that you're going to do this activity, going to do this activity in the future times? Yeah, so that's why we can use it. This is the structure. And as always, I hope this helped you at least a little to get a better understanding of, um, of the grammar that we were looking at here today. So again, the verb to be for going to, uh, for the future, okay? Uh, so, have a nice day, and I hope to see you again in the future with another video like this one. So take care and goodbye.